Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Gears DN. We're back with more Resident Evil Code Veronica X Blind. This is episode 14. And as you know, last episode was basically a fruitless episode where I was lost and I didn't know what to do. I did find some more green herbs and stuff, but since I didn't make any progress, I didn't even bother saving my game. So basically, that last episode was a loss. And I had no idea what to do, and when I came back, I restarted the game. I always knew there's something to do with the bookcase, so I was running against it, you know, and it's not pushing. But then I realized, don't run against it, just hold up, and it pushes it! Are you serious?! <laughs> okay, we got a locker. Holy shit. What? That rat's like, peace! The fuck is he doing in here? Okay, let's see. We got a paper and a button. Let's see. Butler's letter. Okay, let me let me think of a butler voice. <clears throat> Sir Alfred, please forgive me as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly fifteen years ago. Then an accident during an experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all your family members at once. There was nothing I could do and I felt powerless. I first thought that I should kill myself to apologize and uh, I then realized that it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia, in other world, in the other world. Scott Harmon Butler, Ashford family. You filed the butler's letter. There's a switch. Push the switch. You push the switch. So this is all I had to do. Just push the stupid bookcase. I know it was here. What the? What's going on? What is that? What? She's looking at it. What is that thing? There's a potted plant. What is that? Jesus. Okay, what do we do next? That guy is fucking scary. So the shaking is gone now, and it's being replaced by that guy. Okay, so what, what do we do with this potted plant? Uh, check. Always gotta check the items. Let's see. A plant pot. It appears to be an ordinary one. And there's the key, obviously. And the machine room key! We can finally make progress. Turn it around. Nothing. Okay. Let's move forward. We can finally move forward. I think the last episode was the first episode I ever re recorded where I made zero progress. Actually, I kind of made like percent, like point percent. What was that noise? Point percent progress is because like I triggered a cutscene. I found little things. But I really hope by me not using this detonator right before when I first picked it up. It doesn't prevent me from opening that thing later on. Okay. The machine room key is obviously the door on the left because the one on the right is uh, broken. And I'm still all freaking hurt all, hurt all. Use the machine room key. You use the key. You no longer need the machine key. Discard the key. And we go into the room. Oh, it's so creaky. There's controls in here. Anything to do right here? Uh, no. Nothing over here. There's another door. But first, let's press X on everything. Anything? Anything? No. Okay, turn this way. Go up to the controls. Oh, God. Getting stuck everywhere. Claire, Holy shit. It looks Holy like there's an Australian fuck. observation base about seven miles away from here. That should be our target. Great news. And take a look at that. It's a digging vehicle. If we break the wall with it, we might have a chance. Okay. Let's do it! 
<laughs> Let's do it! And it's turning. So what is it gonna do? Obviously it's gonna dig a hole, but are we really gonna like tunnel our way out of here? Look at that ass. Well, he's starting to look at it. Oh god, this fucking music. Steve, watch out! Oh my god. No. It's toxic gas! <laughs> Oh, my heart's beating. So now I need the gas mask. That was retarded. It's all my yes, fault. Yes, it is. Don't say that. Listen to me. We'll escape from here. Together. Whoa. Now, come on. We've got to shut off the gas. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. <sighs> okay. Steve, don't forget, we'll get out of here, together. <laughs> oh, giggity. Now what do I do? Uh, I know I can get the gas, do I have to go get the gas mask and then come back? Eh. So I have to go back down. Which room had the gas mask? It was the spider room, right? I just looking at my map when it hurt. Yeah, that seems like the only door I had to go through now. So all the way back to the gas mask. Eh, downstairs. With the little cutscenes, whatever shall we do? Uh, I guess since we're already tracking back, I'll just take this time. Oh my god, are you serious? Wow. Can I use this? You've used the blue- Oh my god! Ugh. It didn't look like he laid anything on me. Or maybe I should say she. Since we're kind of backtracking, I'll just take this time to, uh... Talk about- Yeah, I know my uploads have been a little crazy for a while. But I've had an ex I have an excuse, people. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> That's my excuse. Alright, so take this. Take the gas mask. You've taken the gas mask. Do I have to wear it yet? There's no need to use it. I might as well check this room again. Let's see. Does this do anything now? No. So that means there's still nothing to do in here. So back to that room, I guess. But I can say my upload should go start going back to daily, if not every other day, which I'm trying to do now. It's just been, just had some troubles, man. We've had to buy some stuff. The heat, the heat was just, just awful. I thought I was in the desert. It was so bad. Am I poisoned? Okay, good. Oh, oh I planted something on me. You fuck. Let me check if I'm not poisoned. Okay. As long as that guy doesn't poison me, that little egg, I'll be fine. If it does poison me, I'm kind of screwed. Er, that's, that's dangerous. So I have to be on the lookout for when he's gonna start hatching on me and get ready to mash the buttons like bloody crazy. I'm ready, man. I got double claw action. Come on, hurry up and hatch. This room is filled with poison gas. Equip the gas mask and it's a yes. How convenient. Oh, oh, all right. Did it poison me? Oh, Ooh. all right. Let's see if we press anything right here. Uh, poison gas detected lamp is on. Poison gas detection lamp is on. Okay, okay. So, this room. So, I'm still looking for something that's octagonal or something like that, or hexagonal. Oh, look, we're on top of the thing now. Oh, what the hell is this crank for? Oh, uh, there we go. Valve handle. You've taken the handle. <laughs> so it's the first time I've seen one of those in this game, and that's like a classic Resident Evil thing, isn't it? 
yes, equip it and move on. The the I remember seeing like Resident Evil 2 playthroughs and stuff. <laughs> it's just always So now I need to get back into this room but on the bottom. And go over there and start turning that crank. Hopefully uh, we don't get attacked by anyone. Our inventory is also full, which is dangerous. Damn it, I just realized I have to go through the fucking moth room again. Why? That room is so fucking annoying. Down the stairs and do a cutscene. There's a lot of back and forth in this episode. But why? Why would they put the stupid moths here that just are impossible to avoid? Like, they start poisoning you. Oh, shit. Am I poisoned? I'm still good. Oh, come on! Oh, oh my god. Two of them. Two of them! Ugh, it's fucking this, this game, man. Am I poisoned? No, nope, still not poisoned. Oh! What about now? Oh, yes, that's good. I wonder if it's just a random chant, or if you don't get it off in time. It poisons you? Wait, I need to go in this room. Up here. I swear to God, the shotgun's in that, like, case or something, and I missed it. I'm gonna be very upset. Uh, okay, we go in here. The gas mask is on. Up, up here. Uh. So it's just gonna start tunneling out through there. And you gotta use the crank. And use. What? Oh, do I have to go back to that room with the fucking. There's a hole shaped. Oh. Now I gotta go back to that room. Shoot. I don't remember which room that is. Oh no. Is it upstairs? I think the room with the cage in it. It's not that room. Uh. It's not that room. It's not the same room, not that room. It's not that room. Oh, so it's gotta be a. It's, I think it's that room upstairs. Aw, oh, crap. I should have realized there wasn't an oxy oxygonal, so I'll probably have to go to go to that metal machine. It's gonna cut it, and I'm going the wrong way. Damn it! Ah, well, you learn, you learn. And through this door, I think. Wait, do I have to go through this door? What was to the other side? Oh, the other side's blocked off. So the thing I hate about this is like, even if you kill these stupid things. They just come back. Don't do that, video game. Don't do enemies that are super annoying that poison you. And then they just... It makes them pointless, kind of, because they're super annoying. And you have to deal with them every single time. It's not this room, right? Uh... I can't tell if this is the bunker room, or... This is the bunker room, so not this room. Damn it, which is the one that has the fucking cage? So it's gotta be this way. Oh yeah, it's through here on the l uh, wait, is it? Yeah, it's through here on the right. Completely forgot about this room. Ah, uh, so many doors to open! So now just imagine if there was zero loading in between these doors. And going up and down the stairs. Yeah, this is where I wanna be. Stop scaring me. I can use this to process metal materials. Okay, now do I use the crank? Yep. I was correct. That's gonna cut it into that shape that I need. That's pretty cool. And then the zombie's probably gonna attack me. Yep. And let's see, zombie attack and go. Oh, I was wrong. Not yet, I see. Not yet. Oh, great. And now that triggered all the zombies to respawn. 
Well, ain't that just a freaking peach? <sighs> darn, darn, diggity, darn. So should we just unload on them with this? Oh, we'll see when we get there if I could bust out my knife and get them. I might go to the save room real quick and dump off a few things. Wait, let's see. What do we got in our inventory? This is taking up two slots is the big thing. Erg. Err, go for it. Oh, I'm in caution. I'm still in caution. So basically, it's like this game has like four levels of health. It's like red caution, orange caution. I should be able to knife him. Oh, I say that and it instantly gets shot. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, bad. Alright, let's try it. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. But then I knock him down, so I'm like, oh, I don't wanna... Oh, fuck. See, I knock him down. So I'm just like, oh shit. Run! Oh my god. That was bad of me. That was very bad of me. Are you serious? How weak is this thing? Oh, screw it. I'm gonna have to go get those, uh, herbs now. Which room are they in? Let me check my inventory. I have to make a left and a left. Ugh. Poison gas, equip the gas mask and go. Yes. Oh, I need to go in this room anyways. Oh right, yeah, but first let me go get those herbs and heal myself before I die. But I don't want to do that freaking... One thing I learned about playing this game, I don't want to trigger that cutscene which spawns a monster. At least not while I'm hurt. There's two herbs behind here. There's three herbs in here. Nice. Yes, take it. And then use this one. And then what's my health at? Yellow caution. And then should I just leave this one in here? Yeah, I'm at yellow caution now, so... I'll just leave that one in there. I got an extra one on me. I'm about to lose the crank right now. Hopefully I lose the gas mask after this also. So you no longer need the gas mask. Goodbye. And finally we get to use this thing that I've checked several times. So I still have to activate in my inventory. Yep. And use. Turn that crank, baby. We're safe now. Think again, Claire. I shall enjoy watching you shriek in agony. Not this time! You gay! Jesus Christ. Ugh. Holy fuck. Oh! Why isn't he dead? But now he's dead. What was that? Loading. He's got a key as an earring or something. What the fuck? That's crazy. Oh, now he's walking around. What do, what do I do now? Talk to him? 
Let's get out of here. Uh, escape using the vehicle. No. I want to get away. I want to pick up the sniper rifle today. How does this work? Claire, what are you doing? Let's go. I picked up the. Are you ready? I'm gonna bust through that wall. Go for it. I wonder what would happen if I didn't pick up the sniper rifle. This is cool. Water's busted. <laughs> Are you ready? We're gonna bust through. It's like one millimeter an hour. <laughs> Did we beat the game? Right. I wonder. Did we beat it? Maybe we can escape through there. Through there. Come on, let's go. I never got the Magnum, though. Can I not get the Magnum as Claire? Claire, come on. Finally, we can get out of this insane place. Holy hell. First person Resident Evil classic. What's my inventory look like? I have one herb. I have 14 of these, so I'm not really worried about a boss. Kind of. What I'm worried about is... I still have the detonator. I got a bunch of pistol ammo. Uh, there's a first aid spray. No. In case I want to use it. So there's first aid spray over here. What about this corner? Nothing. Uh, what about this corner? No. Oh wait, I think I will use that green herb to fully heal and pick this up. I think that's what I'll do. Oh no, I used it, but I'm still fine. Caution. But I'll pick this up. Did me not putting the detonator there really screw something up? Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. What are you scared? Uh oh. What the fuck? I was hoping to start flying around. Move it. Oh, he just got ah, fucking ah, bitch slapped. Steve. We're not that high up. Oh my god, the beating is awesome. Hold on, I'll wake that monster and come back. Claire, forget about me. Run! Ah! Oh. The hell? Like this poison? I can't see him. Where is he? Where is he? He's over here somewhere. Oh my god, the poison's coming right at me. What the hell's with this poison? How do I shoot with this thing? Oh my god, stop poisoning me, you ass. Uh, aim for his heart. I'm out of ammo now. Uh, unload with this. Aim! I just equipped it! What the fuck? Oh god, I'm sliding all over the place. Is he dead? <laughs> Steve. Are you all right?
What the fuck? Claire! You're alive! Uh, okay, we pulled him up. I'm so confused at what's going on. I feel like I missed so much in this game. I'm sorry. I failed you. Don't worry about it. Let's go. I swear I'll protect you next time, Claire. Why don't you choke yourself? <laughs> oh god, this cutscene looks very weird. We did it! We're finally out! <laughs> Look! There's a snowmobile over there! It's... Perfect! We'll be able to ride right over to the Australian base with this! Yeah, let's go! Is it over? What the hell is happening? I won't forget about this, Claire. Oh no, is there gonna be another boss fight? I just used all my ammo on that guy. Is that Alexia? Alexia. Oh no. She's just stroking his head. Was it her who did that? And just fire? The prison who lost everything. Prisoner. In the meantime, on an isolated island, Chris Redfield. Following up on a lead given to me by Leon has brought me here. So we beat Claire? Look at this badass motherfucker climbing a mountain. Isn't this the intro to that new Dude, this is the same intro to the to that um, Metal Gear Solid like that five that like five point one game. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> So this is Chris before he got freaking super buffed. Don't worry, Claire. I'm coming to save you. Da -da 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 -da. Is that the Tremors monster? So is that the timeline of this game? Is like, uh, he showed up. I can't see fucking anything. He showed up right when Claire, uh, let's see, 18 bullets, a first aid spray, 30, a knife, 
I wonder if the knife is just as good as Claire. Oh, look. I didn't expect to find another living person left on this island. Who are you? I came here looking for a certain girl. A girl? Have you seen anyone named Claire Redfield? Did you just say Claire? You know who she is, don't you? Don't worry about her. I helped her escape. Several planes took off from this island not long ago. While I can't say for certain, she was probably on one of them. I see. I guess my sister owes you. Thanks for helping. Everyone's gone. I may be the only other person left. Go on. Follow your sister and get off this island. I actually like this cutscene more than any other cutscene in the game. <laughs> and there's the tremor monster. Never mind. I don't like this cutscene anymore. I must save him. Are you fucking shitting me? How are we supposed to save him? Dedicated light, my right hand. A light on my right hand. Uh, it seems that I can put the stone lid down. Two submachine guns are placed here. Wow, that's crazy. Two submachine guns. So I need something to put in his right hand. And what's in this corner? Bowgun arrows. Oh my god, look at Chris's inventory. It's so small. And we got this chest, which still has everything we've had before in it, which is good. All right, here's a here's a question I'm gonna need to ask though. Should I have put the detonator on the thing? Like, did I screw kind of myself by not doing that? Well, pick up the fucking ink ribbon. And should I like load up a previous save and put the detonator on there, then rebeat the game as Claire, then? start for me. I'm not going to re-record anything. I just want to ask if I should put the detonator on that thing, because that's what I want to do. But, uh, this begins the end. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Let me bust out this knife. But we continue as Chris, mother, loving, red, freaking, buff, boulder, punching, redfield. <laughs> Peace out, everybody.